The governor's chief election is built to hold 21st September 2024, with over 10 candidates vying for the number one seat. This, the guests say, the would be occupant of Osadebe Avenue must be a man with sound mind, ability to communicate, and have the capacity to govern. Barrister Dan Ubege says, aside such credentials, the next landlord of Dennis Osadebe Way must always display sense of responsibility and not engage in reckless speeches capable of causing crisis, which he said the PDP candidate represents. What are the three issues in this election? Okay. The three issues are one, the character, personality, and capacity of the candidates. Idris Zekeri says such persons must have his mark intellectually and otherwise, as the electorate should consider that first instead of allowing sentiment and ethnicity to guide them. He maintained that description perfectly fits the Labour Party candidate, Lumiri Akpata. We want to return people to the center of the equation of governance in a do state. We want to run a people-centric, people-driven government. Chief Matthew Akwemoka, who joined the program via Zoom from UK, said, Eloquence is not a yardstick for somebody to govern well, but ability to know the feelings of the people, especially as the, at the grassroots. Equality, he says, cannot be taken away from the APC candidate, Monday Okbewodo. We be the elected governor, it doesn't mean it's going to single-handedly run the, the state. It's going to have people like you and I, who is going to be part of his team, one way or the other. Who is going to have more people even greater than myself and greater than you and I, who is going to be part of the government advising and guiding it. Listeners on radio and viewers on television also contributed via telephone. If you look at politics, I call me whether the APC or Labour Party, I don't know. When the time comes, all of us are going to decide. Politics today is an audience participation program at the same time on ITV and radio every Saturday from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Fosa Wangwe, ITV News.